Good evening, ladies and gents. I'm Eli Abramowitz, and this is the Cold Hearted Truth. What's on my mind today? Take a look at this. Wanna wrestle? Man, those women sure are sexy, right? Hmm, did anyone not find something wrong with what I just said? If you didn't, today's topic is for you. It's sexual objectification of women in television shows. In her piece on sexual objectification, philosopher Laura Mulvey said, in a world ordered by sexual imbalance, pleasure and looking has been split between active male and passive female. The determining male gaze projects its fantasy onto the female form, which is styled accordingly. In their traditional exhibitionist role, women are simultaneously looked at and displayed, with their appearance coded for strong visual and erotic impact so that they can be said to connote to be looked at -ness. What do we think that means? It's simple. Women in television shows are too often used as props, or better yet, objects, to express sexual desire. They are simply objects to be looked at. Now, I'm not sure how to voice exactly how wrong that is, so let's take a look at a few examples, shall we? Let's start with Serena Vanderwoodson from The CW's Gossip Girl. Now, Serena is seen as the perfect girl, isn't she? She gets the guy she wants, she's rich, she's stylish, she runs into some issues during the series, but she overcomes them. And most of all, she holds the to-be-looked-at-ness factor. She's gorgeous. Men are attracted to her, and women want to be her. I hope you see the problem. If you don't, I'll explain later. Next, we talk about Quinn James from the CW's One Tree Hill. Take a look at the next scene. Wow. And now it's a better night. I think you were right about me losing stuff. I seem to have uh, lost my clothes. <laughs> uh huh? No, I've lost my way to the bed. I guess I'll just have to sleep somewhere else. In this scene, Quinn is seen teasing her boyfriend Clay. In just her bra and panties, she is the definition of an object to be looked at. Her boyfriend wants her, as do other men. And just like Serena Vanderwoodson, the women want to be her. These examples bring about the biggest issue of women being seen as sexual objects in television shows. In Susan Douglas's piece, Girls Gone Anti-Feminist, we see that because of television shows and other mediums, women are potentially forced to be seen as sexual objects. If they do not accept that about themselves, then they are not the right woman for society. Women are shown that in order to be accepted, they have to look and act in the ways that Serena and Quinn do. These assumptions cause very serious outcomes, starting with depression and moving on to health issues like anorexia and bulimia in women. They strive to be the perfect woman when in reality, they already are. So what if you're not the skinniest, or you're not the prettiest, or you're not what society wants you to be? You're you, and you're perfect. Women don't need to subject themselves to sexual objectification to be accepted. And that brings me to our theme. Don't let television shows define and depict what and who a woman should be. Sexual objectification of women in television shows is throwing negative vibes in with our media, and we don't need that. Be above the objectification. 
Think of no woman as a spectacle. I'm Eli Abramowitz, and this has been The Cold Hearted Truth. Tune in next time for my piece on sexism in our homes through our TV sets. Stay classy, Eugene. Thank you.